Dun, 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 dun. It's time for a rescue, perhaps, maybe. Just had a phone call. Bloke's got a swarm in his tree, so here we go. A little change of direction. So just as well the cameraman was here to capture it. But we'll find out, it might just be a false alarm, because I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We will go and have a bit of reconnaissance. Is that what it's called when you, when you check it out? Anyway, here we go. We've had a bit of a call out. We've got a bit of a bee rescue happening. So we'll go and get our swarm catching box and give these girls a bit of a brush up, see what happens. This one because my other box is out in the ute in the other one but I went down to the somewhere else when the cameraman wasn't here not so long ago check that shit out anyway put me suit on because I'm not I'm not quite that brave <laughs> well they turned on the weather for us if nothing else oh my gosh <laughs> what are you doing chicks Man, at least they're not right up there, which is they are sometimes. So they've conveniently landed a bit low for us. The only thing is, I don't know how big a hole there is behind here. So if she's already bugging off inside the tree, then I don't know where we are. But anyway, I reckon we'll just sit our little box here and then we'll just give them a bit of a sweep and see what sort of trouble we can get into. What do you reckon, folks? You reckon this isn't quite as crazy as some I've done? I think there's much of a hole there. And that one's there. That's where it is there, isn't it? It's fucking ambitious, you lot. Not going to fit in there, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, we'll put that down here for a minute, and we'll see whether whether they come down here or go up there. <laughs> myself a screwdriver while they accumulate uh, uh, assimilate themselves <sighs> I might have to get myself a little thingamajig book that I could have at least written down so I know what I'm saying or if the cameraman knew what he was doing he could put the little captions at the bottom like that <laughs> like we say you could understand my slang so I don't know I don't think there's much of a hole here actually I don't think there's a hole here at all. <laughs> oh, hang on, there's a little bit there. I have a sneaking suspicion. When they have the committee meeting, the drone that picked this site for a bee, bee nest, he's going to either get his ass chewed. I think when he's in the executive committee meeting about this hole selection, he's going to get interior shit because there's not a real good hole here. Like, so I don't know what he was thinking. Anyway, so the scout bee that picked this site, he's definitely getting sacked. There might be a hole. <laughs> I don't think it goes very far. It doesn't go very far into the tree, so perhaps they were thinking about drilling. They, maybe they'd come with their own little like wood saws and shit they were going to drill a hole in. I mean, normally they wait for crap to go rotten. So as you can see, they're all trying to get a bit enthusiastic and all get back together in our pot. So we'll just lift the lid a little bit so they, these stragglers can get in. Hopefully, hopefully they decide that this might be a safe spot out of the wind. What do you reckon, ladies? You crazy kids. Yeah, well, that's nearly the easiest swarm catching I've ever done. Normally it's not that simple. Showing off. I am showing off. Hell, if you weren't a regular watcher, you'd think I knew what I was doing. <laughs> These are obviously just a little bit, um, you know, obviously feral bees, I guess you'd call them. Or I was reading on the internet today, they would call them mongrel bees, which I thought was a bit rough. But anyway, and they're pretty chilled out because they're in their swarm mode, so it's not 
really 100% accurate as to figure out whether they're going to be aggressive or not until they actually find a home to protect. So as you saw the other day, as you saw when we were trying to do that top work and well not top work, we were doing that jolly reboxing and those girls were absolutely stupid. So they're going to get requeened. And that's why, um, yeah, so this is what will happen here. If these girls get in a the box, they'll get a new queen. And then hopefully they can, you know, become a productive member of society. So what would that be? Be, re be rehabilitation. We'll just have a quick scout around here to make sure there's not actually an original um, nest box or a swarm that's hanging in another tree because sometimes it can they can you know there'll be more than one so we'll just have a look around because these guys are apparently uh, got a bit of a bee allergy so we don't want any ladies left behind I think that was a slight misjudgment on the um, scout bee because this is a bit better hole in this tree. They might have actually made a better nest, but I'm glad they didn't because now they can be useful. I can't really see too many other like actual immediate girls flying from anywhere else. They all seem to be congregating there, so I reckon we were all good. Maybe they weren't as silly as I thought. They have actually got a quite a cute little entrance in here, so. They might have been at her, make it a bit bigger, because they can actually nibble away at the wood a little bit, as long as it's, you know, a reasonable chasm. So who knows what's actually inside here. So perhaps, perhaps this scout bee will not get completely fired after all. But, you know what, sucky bit about it is, as soon as the swarm's over, he's knackered anyway. <laughs> I think we've decided that we're going to leave a little nuke box here to catch the strays and um, take this little lady and find her a nice home out of the wind which will be quite good and hopefully they turn into something cool so I think that's been reasonably successful it's a miserable day here in the Riverland but anyway I thought I'd got a new box on board so I thought I might just leave it here to catch these stray little field bees we'll come back and grab them but we'll take these ladies and put them in a nice new home out of the wind this can sometimes be the interesting part of the project. When you get all motivated and you think, oh, I'd like to get those last 20 bees. And so you pick the lid up and you go to knock them in there. But there's a friggin' great cluster of bees sitting on here and then they all bugger off and you end up worse off than when you started. So you be very careful if you make yourself a hive catching box. You don't want to lose the girls that you've already got trying to get the six you haven't. And they haven't got to that point yet. Sweet these in here. That's about as good as it's going to get today. And I'll put this here like this. All these little balls, all these funny little critters that I left behind can come here. Hopefully. And um, yeah, we'll come back and get them later. But let's take these girls somewhere safe. Anyway, we made it back here, miraculously, with all this crap on board. Here's our little swarm that we just pulled out of a gum tree. Well, off of a gum tree, more to the point. So I'm just going to slip them around the back, put them by themselves, and we'll see what they do. Who knows? Hey, check this out. This is pretty cool. All their little legs are sticking up through the mesh here. So they're just starting to create a normal little ball that they'll come in a swarm. So we'll take them out of there, and we'll pop them in a box and we'll give them some frames to build on and who knows <laughs> we'll get them, out, get them out of here before it rains anyway the thing about swarm catching is if you don't go when they call you they're just as likely to have buggered off so anyway I think it was pretty cool that you were all here to watch that that's all awesome we'll pop them in this little box and we'll let them do their thing
sometimes they have a nice little cluster just sitting there but these guys haven't done that so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a quick tap get them all to fall down to the bottom and we're basically just going to unceremoniously tip them into this here <laughs> and basically put the put the frames in and then that'll be that jack and then we'll have a new bee box because they're all up the sides and everywhere so here we go we'll just do that which makes them excited of course yeah they're all down the bottom again and then we're just gonna tip them in decides to stay it'll be all good well as you can see they're still in swarming mode because they've gone a little bit psycho here <laughs> but it looks like a lot of these girls are running back in, into the box so that's a good idea and um, yeah like I said if Her Majesty decides it's a nice home they'll all settle in and um, away we go and then we'll in another I don't know, three or four months when they start breeding up a bit, we'll find out just how shitty ass they actually are. Or not. Hey, wonder where she is. After all that effort, you don't really want to kill anybody, especially someone who's important in here. what they want to do. Hopefully if we're lucky the girls will think this is an acceptable little nook. They'll think they've found themselves a decent hole in a tree. But I'm not really sure whether they're that intelligent but I reckon they'll just figure this is a good place to be. Looks like they're starting to mass up here and then they're starting to run in the lead. So as long as the leader doesn't say up yours and bush bee man I'm going to find somewhere else to be. They might be my bees very soon.